Go ahead. Hi, this is Gina from Lightning Entertainment. I had a few questions also. Uh, how was it like living in America? Did you feel a culture shock when you first moved here? Absolutely. For me, it was a new world, new life. So I come from all this country in the world, Iran and Tehran and to the Western way mm -hmm. and very hard for us to learn to speak English and by myself and but I, like I said I was lucky I had a good wrestling background uh, and thanks to my coach Mr. Aaron Rice and Mr. Ghania they helping me to I made it to be an cha amateur champion and professional champion and I had a, uh, somebody up there was behind me and uh, help me, and I made, I made it. So they made it easier for you, like you felt like you had friends here, and it, it's big like when you move like that. For me also, like when you have people that are around you, you know, you're not by yourself, and it's like a support system, it helps, right, when you first come to another country. Absolutely. Yeah. That helped me a lot. Like I said, my sport was international. Yes. And that was helping a lot, and a uh, good friend also helped a lot. Right. Yes, my, and my coach, Mr. Ghania, and Mr. Alan Rice, I never forgot about them, and Mr. McMahon, yes. Can you tell me a little bit about your parents? Well, um, my parents in Iran, and they are farmer also, there was a farmer. Oh. And we raised pe Persian pistachio, very famous in Iran, best pistachio and then uh, wheat, uh, and then uh, what I call them, uh, pistachio, and another thing is where to make bread, what I call it, wheat. The flour? The flour, oh, wheat. wheat, yeah. Right, and then uh, uh, we had a uh, lamb, like, uh, mm -hmm. because we are Muslim, we don't eat the pork. No. Only, only the sheep and lamb, and farm, and pistachio, or chair. I grew up with the farm and natural stuff in all country. It helped your training too to be on all natural diet and stuff also? Absolutely, because all country, uh, we try to grow up everything natural. Yes. We didn't have any tests also, any another thing. Um, we believe uh, uh, good food, good training, pray to God, right. yeah, religious, and everything natural, lasts longer. What do you think about all the drugs that are surrounding the business, the wrestling business? Well, it's, it's not just a, a wrestling business, some other yeah. sport too. Yeah. But um, la, like I said, uh, it's different than old days. Mm -hmm. Old days, we didn't have anything like that. We tried right. to be natural, last longer. But today, uh, it's completely different. It's not just the wrestling business, it's different, yeah. another sport. Right. We had it, and, and it's no good. No. I, 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 I recommend it to the young generation, they should learn from uh, mistake here, Aksa did and other yes. did, uh, to, uh, to go, uh, be natural, be honest, and long, long, last longer. Yeah. Um, I follow your Twitter. Uh, are you? Is that you on Twitter all, with all the tweeting? Oh, that's the. Uh, <laughs> that's the, my family. Uh -huh. They call Twin or Megan Boy. Oh, okay. Uh, and from Toronto, and uh, I, I'm I'm not good for the reading and writing and right. Twitter or anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do the. Yeah. They do the all oh, okay. talking, all uh, thing in the internet. They call him uh, twins and Megan boys. I see. From Toronto. And also they try to make them um, uh, what I call the comment what, what I call Eric the commentary about Aaron Sheik. Documentary. Yeah. Documentary about Aaron Sheik. And they try to help him in, and they try to uh, I don't know what I call uh, raise a little bit of money for the, my movie or whatever. Right. I'll leave it to them, you know. How about your website? I, I just say, I don't have website, okay. I don't know nothing about internet and okay. website. All is the only, th only thing they do, my there's, agent's Eric. There's like two people who did websites for you and you don't even know nothing about it. 
I, I, I never <laughs> know about it, and I never read it, but the only thing I know, hey, Eric is my agent, they do that stuff in the internet right. or a website, and that twin boys, migrant boys from Toronto, Canada. Right. I mean, uh, all, they do that, it's the iron sheep. Uh, why did you have such a big problem with B. Brian Blair? Well, uh, that old days, yes, but not now anymore. Uh -huh. I don't have any prob any problem with Mr. Hulk Hogan mm -hmm. or Brian Blair. That was part of the business. Brian Blair was uh, thinking was better than other ship for the uh, high school or uh, amateur or wrestling. Mm -hmm. But that that's because uh, I get, I get mad at him, and then exactly. I, I, I slap him because I want to show him. Why? Because I just want to show him he's not my class. Right. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a real freestyle Greco Roman right. all American right. champion. That's Rick, right. I mean, Bram Blair, <laughs> only high school. Mm -hmm. Only they look high school, whatever he been. But he's not my class. He's not Bob Backlund class. He's not Dan, Dan Gabriel class. Different, different mm -hmm. class. That's because you get a lot of hate with me. But I, 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 it's, it's over now. I like right. him. Everything is okay. Same as Hulk Hogan. How did you squash the whole thing? How? How did you squash the beef, like the ended, the fighting and stuff? Did you make up? What happened? Well, I just said uh, we had uh, some, sh some uh, in the, what was it, Eric, in that thing we did in the, uh, in oh, the roast, the roast. The roast. Oh, okay. The roast. Uh, Ring roast. Yes, and then uh, I slapped him mm -hmm. to he get the message. Uh, mm -hmm. Still, I'm the better. Even I'm a handicap, even I'm bad, <laughs> bad, bad thing. But, uh, but that is over. Right. I, 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 I forgive him because finally he said he's sorry. And same as Mr. Hulk Hogan. No, I don't have any issue with him. He's mm -hmm. all right. He's a good right. man. Right. And I get the. Uh, Along with him, and no more. Even he didn't. Uh, he even he, he didn't tell me thank you or after I lost about to him. No. And he promised me someday he gonna help me. He forgot about it, but no big deal. I I, I prefer to the God helping me and, and my wrestling friends. Um, that way, uh, I forget about them and um, just let him go. Recently, I saw the footage from the Howard Stern show. Right. How did that come about? And Eric was very well dressed in that, so I saw the footage. So he was all looking sharp. Well, uh, <laughs> it was I can, very I can, interesting. I can answer that. Yes. We did. Um, we were on Pharrell. Remember Pharrell on the after sports guy in the evening? Right. We went there, and you did such a good job on the Pharrell show that they passed the tapes to the Howard Stern show and immediately they want they wanted you. Right. So finally you went on there, you did your thing and you know, you became uh, a, a classic. Call, a classic, a classic. You know, exactly. A it's classic. still never I go people talk about it in the in in, in the Howard Stern show we was a, a very best and very good and was the people like it and was happy. Eric was well dressed up that that's day. That's right. But are you going to a wedding later? That's, or? that's right. <laughs> well, uh, what is, is business. That's yeah. right. What is the biggest concern you have in life? Biggest concern? What in is life? that? life. Like, what, is, what do you worry about in life every day? Like, think about what affects you. Well, recently, I in fact been I'm a little bit alone sometimes. I miss, right. the, I miss the road. I miss the mm -hmm. uh, wrestling atmosphere. I miss the, okay. my wrestling fans. Uh, and I will grow up all my life in the public, on the arena, in the building, coast to coast, all over the world. All of the sons, I'm like um, handicapped, sitting mm -hmm. home, doing nothing. Uh, that will a little bit bother me. Right. But uh, still, um, I do my best to, I hope, uh, turn in a little bit, go physical therapy. Mm -hmm. and see the doctor maybe a little bit again Eric call me I make the show and I come on the road what do you do on your off days like when you're home and stuff do you have any hobbies do you do any interesting stuff uh, I, I, my hobby is I'm home I try I have a five grandkids they're right. all young uh, between them um, 
two years to eight years. Wow. So, oh. yeah, I travel with them. I go spend time with them. They live with you? I try to share my experience to they them. They live with you? I'm sorry? They live with you? Uh, they are not too far from me. Okay. Yeah, and um, I live with my wife and still together. And But I see them, my grandkids every week. Sometimes I spend time with them. I try to share my experience to them. And I hope sometimes they can be like um, Grandpa Papa Sheik. <laughs> would you be like, would you support them if they were interested in becoming pro wrestler and you have your grandkids? Well, um, uh, there are girls, only one boy. Oh, one boy, yeah. yeah one boy but for the girls. The boy, how about if he wanted to become one, would you support him? 100% you, if yeah. he wants to be. <laughs> That's yes, good. Uh, like uh, Grandpa yes. Papa Sheik, yes. Cool. <laughs> Who is your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete in the... Athlete in any support, any sports. Well, uh, any sport, uh, uh, like I said, uh, in the Olympic wrestling was uh, yeah. Dan Gable. Right. <laughs> what I said. Yeah. You heard me, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, do you have any regrets? What is that when request? Like anything you said, or maybe I should have done it, like not to do Anything you wish this. you wouldn't have done? didn't do it in your life? Anything I wish I didn't do it? Yeah. yeah. That day was the uh, only mistake I, I did to go with the hacksaw in New oh, Jersey yeah, yeah. Tour Park. New Jersey Tour Park. Too bad day for me, I lose my respect and uh, my face, and that was the biggest mistake. I did. I'm gonna be honest with you. The biggest mistake out of that, to me, in my opinion, was that you was driving in the same car with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. You was not supposed to be in that car. Exactly. Kayfabe. Exactly. That was, <laughs> that was the biggest problem. That, that y'all was together. Y'all was, was not supposed to be together. Exactly. Y'all was going to fight each other that day. Right. 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 Because <laughs> I was just stuck. I didn't have it. That's the only problem right. I have with that. Exactly. That y'all was together. I was you was not supposed to be together. Absolutely. <laughs> No, sir. Uh, I was uh, stuck. I didn't have a choice. Oh, okay. uh, and uh, uh, Haxa said, uh, if you're stuck, uh, I take you. Yeah. But uh, we get in the car, he had this beer and he had this uh, smoke. Yeah. And some another thing, one of the biggest mistakes in my life I did and cost me million, million dollars. I'm going to be service. honest with you, at that time, at that time, when I heard that y'all was together in the car, I, I couldn't believe it because I was a little kid, so I was like, what are they doing together? <laughs> they going to fight each other. What are they doing together? <laughs> you know, that was the whole thing that bothered me that y'all was together. Like, what were you doing together? You know, that was my whole thing with that. Nothing else. It was just what were you doing together? <laughs> you Absolutely. <know? laughs> like I said, one of the bad days, I, I, was, uh, I didn't have a car and I was a stock and I have to go to Asbury Park and uh, Hacksaw saw me. I'm stuck. He said, well, I check you. Well, you can't fit me careful. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, was, uh, that was the biggest mistake in my life. Yeah. And I was surprised. I couldn't believe it. I'm exactly. Like, exactly. Uh, what well, were they doing together? That's my whole thing. What were they doing together? Exactly. They're not supposed because to be together. Because I'm Iranian. He's American. He's no, because you're always feuding. You was, I, I think you're always actually going to fight each other that day, right? Absolutely. Right. Well, nobody put for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's been a pleasure. Oh, thank you thank and you. honor. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Now, sir, God bless you guys. Thank you. Um, uh, help me. And I, made, I made it. So they made it easier for you? Like, you felt like you had friends here? And it, it's big, like, when you move like that. For me, also, like, when you have people that are around you, you know, you're not by yourself, and it's like a support system. I had a good wrestling background, uh, and thanks to my coach, Mr. Aaron Rice and Mr. Ghania, they're helping me to, I made it to be an cha amateur champion and professional champion. And I had a, uh, somebody up there was behind me. Doing life, to I come from all this country in the world, Iran and Tehran, and to the Western way, mm -hmm. and very hard for us to learn to speak English and by myself. And but I, like I said, I was lucky. Go ahead. 
Hi, this is Gina from Lightning Entertainment. I had a few questions also. Uh, how was it like living in America? Did you feel a culture shock when you first moved here? Absolutely. For me, it was a new world. System. It helps, right, when you first come to another country. Absolutely. Yeah. That helped me a lot. Like I said, my sport was international. Yes. And that was helping a lot, and a good friend also helped a lot. Right.